Testing your child for coronavirus. Testing is one of the main ways we'll beat coronavirus. You can take a test at home or at a test site. Make sure that you carefully read the instructions on returning your test kit and whether you need to register your test before you start. Step 1. Check the collection times at a priority post box near you. It's important that you post your completed test kit on the same day you take the test and no later than one hour before the last collection time. Before you take your sample, check the collection times at your nearest Royal Mail Priority Purse Box. Download and use the Royal Mail app or go online and visit www.royalmail.com forward slash services near you. Select the box that says Show My Nearest Priority Post Boxes. Enter your postcode and select your address. You'll then see a list of your nearest priority post boxes and their collection times. If you do not have access to a priority post box, call the contact centre on 119 for guidance on when to take your test and how to book a courier collection. Calls to 119 are free from mobiles and landlines and lines are open every day from 7am to 11pm. Step 2. Register your test kit. Check if you need to register the test kit as some have already been registered. If your test kit has already been registered, it will tell you on the front of the instruction booklet and there will be a label that says registered kit on the test kit outer package. A registered kit must only be used by the person it is addressed to as the result will be registered to them. If your test kit is already registered, you will not need to register it again. However, if the test kit has not been registered, it is very important that you register it online using the link shown in your instruction booklet so that you can get the result. Step 3. Prepare to take the sample. Ensure both of you have washed your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds using soap and warm water or hand sanitizer. Clear, clean and dry a surface, such as a table, and unpack everything from the test kit. Talk your child through what is going to happen. If you are worried about testing your child or your child asks you to stop, please stop. Step 4. Check the test kit contents. Make sure your kit contains the following items. A swab inside a sealed wrapper. A plastic tube containing a small amount of liquid. A white absorbent pad. A leak proof bag. A return box with a prepaid Royal Mail return label. And a security seal for the return box. Don't worry if some of the items don't look exactly the same as shown in this video. Check that there is an 11 character barcode on the instruction booklet, plastic tube, leak proof bag and return box. Make sure the barcode is the same on all these items. Check the use by date and make sure the test is still in date. The use by date will be displayed on the label on your test kit package. Do not use the kit if anything is broken or missing, any barcodes do not match or if the test kit's use by date on the test kit label has expired or will expire within a week. Contact the call centre on 119 and order a new test. Step 5. Take the test. Make your child comfortable and secure. If possible, have the child sit on someone's lap or have someone else hold their hand. Ask your child to gently blow their nose into a tissue. Throw the tissue away in a bin and both wash your hands thoroughly again for 20 seconds using soap and warm water or hand sanitizer. Open the package and gently take out the swab. Take care not to touch the soft end of the swab on anything apart from the throat and nose. This will be used for both the throat and nose. The throat swab. Look inside your child's mouth. Get them to say ah really loudly for 5 seconds so you can see the tonsils on each side at the back of their throat. This is the area where you will swab. Holding the swab in your hand, gently but firmly rub it over the tonsil area for 4 times on each side. 
this may be uncomfortable, so you can ask your child to say ah really loudly three times, then introduce the swab and ask them to keep saying ah whilst taking the swab. Remove the swab from the mouth. Avoid contact with anything else. If you are unable to get a throat sample, please swab both nostrils instead. The nasal swab. Put the same end of the same swab gently into the child's nostril until you begin to feel some resistance. Be careful not to go deeper than the middle of the nostril to avoid risk of injury. Rotate the swab inside the nostril, making 10 complete circles, then slowly remove it. Unscrew the lid of the sample tube. Place the swab into the tube, making sure you keep the tube upright so no liquid spills out. Snap off the other end of the swab. Securely screw the tube lid back on. Now wash your hands again thoroughly using soap and warm water or hand sanitizer. Step 6. Return the test. Place the absorbent pad and the plastic tube in the leak proof bag. Assemble the return box. Place the leak proof bag in the box and seal it with the security seal. Return your kit as described in your instructions. You should get your results in two days. In the meantime, continue to follow the latest government guidelines. If you have not received your results within five days, call the contact centre on 119. If you're worried about your child or their symptoms get worse, contact your GP surgery or call 111. Thank you for getting tested.